The Beverly Hills Food and Wine Festival is just two days away, and we're getting a taste of what you can expect next. All right, it's never too early for food and wine. <laughs> wine especially. <laughs> it is the Beverly Hills Food and Wine Festival. Uh, and, of course, uh, we've got the fine folks here, Alan Samsar, Chef Matt Dillon. Matt nice. Dillon, love your movies. Thank yeah, you. Outsiders was great. <laughs> never heard that before, have you? Um, no. Of course, uh, this Food and Wine Festival is the seventh annual. Correct. Uh, and, and really, you can tell from the table here, this is top shelf. This is a top-notch event. Yes, it is. Tell me about We've it. We've brought the best of the best. So from the chef of the year, Francois Payard from New York, all the way to the best in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. We've added on top of that the best caviar in the world. Mm -hmm. The best scotches in the world. So we brought down Johnny Walker oh. Gold. Can't go wrong with the right. gold. You can't really, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> and our event kicks off on June 9th at Jimmy Choo on Rodeo Drive, and it continues for four days. Goes from Jimmy Choo down to Olympic Collection, and then we go to Deluxe Hotel for our champagne brunch with our celebrity I love chefs. It. I love it. Chef, come on over here and tell sure, me. Sure, sure. Well, show me what we have up here, and then I want to ask you a few questions about uh, the festival, some specifics. Well, we did a uh, beluga lentil, uh, roasted beets, uh -huh. and endive salad. I'll do that so you so can see it. So it's just simple rustic eats is what we're concentrating on, solid flavors, uh -huh. and not trying to overdo the dish, but give you a great flavor. You're all about, I assume, because that really is the trend right now, that farm-to-table kind of fresh fare, right? Well, I we know. grow a lot of our own produce and everything, so yeah, correctly. Uh, we deal with organic farmers. If we can't grow our own produce or fruit, we grow at the restaurant itself in Santa Ana. So uh, we try to pass on that fresh food unpretentiousness, simple, Unpretentious. clean flavors. Unpretentious, simple, and clean, just like me. <laughs> um, you, one thing that's really interesting, and I don't think people appreciate it enough, um, but a festival like this kind of points it out and really highlights uh, the, the exceptional culinary experience that we have here in Southern California. We have some of the best restaurants, best food experiences in the world, don't Most we? Most definitely. I think they've stepped up their game, the chefs around here. We do, uh -huh. and you know, from, from the big guys like Mastro's and Ruth's Chris, yeah. we have from those guys all the way down to the independent operators. Love it. Some amazing, amazing things happening in LA's food scene. So what better to celebrate that other than the Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Food and Wine Festival? Festival. Exactly. All right, what's this thing? So this is our, a little riff on a caprese. So we've done a pesto slide, mm -hmm. heirloom baby tomatoes, Love buffalo it. mozzarella. We toss it in black pepper. It's a water buffalo milk mozzarella. Mm -hmm. A little extra virgin olive oil to finish. A basil chiffonade and some micros just to give it a little peppery flavor to it. Yeah. Simple, refreshing, cooling on a hot day, especially today. Love it. And then uh, tell me what we have here. Uh, of course, part of the wine festival. This Campino be... Prosecco. Oh, easy. Prosecco. <laughs> I mean, forget about it. What's, what's better than that? Take a little uh, Look sip at this. of that. It's, mm. it's fantastic. You know what? Prosecco actually is fantastic, especially when we're talking about hot temperatures and summer yeah. weather. There's nothing uh, better than some Prosecco. Definitely. And right after this, we're going to go drink some of that together and have, <laughs> have a little fun because it's about 100 yeah, yeah, degrees yeah. already. <laughs> um, and then this last dish here, what do we have? Uh, we did a roasted squash um, ravioli, basically, mm -hmm. and tossed that in a light pesto, finished with a little olive oil, some micros to help balance the flavor so it's not, you know, over, overpowering. And you're raising money for? Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. Love that. Foundation. And all of the money from so the good. event goes to kids with leukemia. And Love what it. better way to celebrate life than to give to kids that are suffering? And we've had them in here uh, on KCAL 9 and CBS 2, and it's, it, they're such a great organization. This is going to be fantastic. Food and Wine Festival, the Beverly Hills Food and Wine Festival. And from what you tell me, Alan, everybody's participating, most everybody in, in Beverly Hills. All the big names. The big if you're names. a big name chef, you're at this event. Once again, the festival begins June 9th and runs throughout the weekend to the 12th.